What is going on guys, Chris here, and hopefully you're having a fantastic day so far. I am, and today's video is about Battlefield Hardline. And it recently it turned 5 years old, which is insane. So, um, today is just a little commentary on why I still enjoy it, and also why you should play it, especially if you're frustrated with Battlefield 5, which is still a mess, considering it's almost 2 years old right now. So getting straight into this, the first reason why I still play and love Hardline is the maps and the maps in this game are pretty amazing um, this is the first battlefield where I actually like all the maps um, even the DLC ones um, pretty much not one of the maps in this game I dislike on any mode although really you can only play certain modes on the base maps now because there's really no servers but back then um, when there was a lot of servers up um, you know, they were amazing on modes such as like um, Conquest, uh, Team Deathmatch, Hotwire, Heist, Blood Money, you know, all those modes. Uh, the second reason is weapons in Hardline. And when Hardline was first released, um, the, I heard the balance was like really horrible and stuff. But after a few updates, they were back to normal. So that was good. You can pretty much pick up any weapon in Hardline and succeed with it, even with like a harpoon gun in the game. So. Um, pretty much, it can suit anyone's playstyle, pretty much. Now speaking of playstyles, I'm usually a run and gun type of person in this gameplay, as you can see right here. So I go with assault rifles like the M16A3 in this gameplay, uh, SMGs, PDWs, and shotguns. But if you're more of a laid back type of player or a sniper, for example, um, there's tons of snipers and DMRs, so that that can fit you pretty well all right going off topic here for a second it's kind of funny that hardline has the m1903 sniper rifle while battlefield 5 doesn't and battlefield 5 has american so yeah um hardline over bf5 i just gotta say that <laughs> all right going back on topic um what's also good too is that um certain stuff in bf4 or certain gadgets i should say like the small the rpg and even weapons like lmgs are pickups in this game so that's good because it would be ridiculous seeing cops and criminals running around with lmgs and explosive stuff so <laughs> uh so it's nice all right my third reason is the assignments and the assignments in this game are pretty fun and they're not but frustrating um there's tons of assignments in hardline including these ones called the syndicate assignments which reward you with one of the four weapons depending on which one you complete and those are the arm assault rifle the FMG-9 SMG, the double barrel shotgun, and the .300 knockout. Other than that, most assignments give you patches to show on your kill card. Um, some give you masks, and some even give you crazy stuff like golden axe or even a golden sword, which is insane to think about. And also, Heartline has some easter eggs um, that even hinted towards Battlefield 1. Uh, there was two weapons, the Mammoth Gun and the Syndicate Gun, if I'm correct. Um, the Syndicate gun is a Lewis gun, and it hinted towards Battlefield 1, which was pretty cool, like I said. Um, so yeah, it's not your normal Battlefield game, it's a crazy Battlefield game, pretty much. And lastly, um, the camo challenges as well, it's pretty easy. Um, there's pretty much bronze, silver, and gold. Uh, bronze requires 100 kills, silver requires 250, and gold requires 1,000 kills. Um, I don't know why there's such a big gap, but I guess they wanted to make it a little bit challenging, but I don't blame them for that. But you gotta admit though that Battlefield Hardline made the assignments fun and easy and kind of challenging as well. But while Battlefield 5 makes it more confusing and frustrating, that's like I only have one gold gun on that game compared to like five gold guns on Hardline, which is which is insane. And finally, for my final reason on why I love Hardline and why I still play it, is because of replayability. Uh, you know, every time I get on this game, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's so much fun to play than Battlefield 5, which is frustrating, as I mentioned throughout this video multiple times. And that same fun on Hardline applies to like BF4, BF3, and even Battlefield 1, which is great. And even though there's a few servers left on PS4 and Xbox, it still provides action and insane moments, and it's even more fun to play with friends, like I have some friends that still play this game. And uh, the DLCs are really fun as well, although there's not much servers left, but every time I play them, they're such a blast, they're so fun, and it brings back nostalgia memories. Uh, there's even a gun bench where you can customize your guns and your character so you can run into action with different camos or uniform if you want to be like Barney the Dinosaur or just make your character all black 
you know, go for it. And as well, there is this thing called Legendary Mode, which is pretty much just prestige from Call of Duty. But that provides replayability as well, because, you know, you can still grind throughout the levels and have something to look forward to, which I think is great. Now, uh, for why you need to play Hardline, it's fun. That's all. <laughs> No, but really, this game is really fun, and provides action, especially if you're getting bored or not having fun with Battlefield 5 or any other game, and I don't blame you. You know, I felt like Hardline would have been more successful if certain YouTubers didn't jump on the hate bandwagon and gave the game a chance, because at launch, it was people were saying it's kind of like a Battlefield 4 reskin, which was true, but... I mean, it's, it's different in many ways, I have to say. I truly think this game could be given a second chance, um, so to all of you who are frustrated with Battlefield 5 or just not happy or just looking for another first person shooter to play, get Hardline and, you know, try it, let me know how you like it, and um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't disappoint you. So pretty much that's it guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, drop a like and also subscribe too, and make sure to share this video too so that Hardline gets some attention. And uh, yeah, without further ado guys, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.